Hey everybody, it is a very special Thoughts on Thursday today. Uh, tomorrow, my second single comes out. It's called Let Revival In. I guess, again, technically it comes out at midnight, but y'all know I'm going to be sleeping. So celebrating tomorrow, Friday, March 22nd, Let Revival In. It's going to be out everywhere. Um, I am having lots of thoughts today about the word revival. And I got to be honest, for a while, that word kind of felt a little overused and redundant, and I got a little burned out on that word, if I'm totally honest. And uh, back in 2020, when we started um, doing some touring towards the end of 2020 and into 2021, um, we were calling the worship nights, instead of just worship night, we we're calling it revival nights. And I really had to define what that word means. When I was in ministry school years ago, I studied and read lots of books on revivals of the past, different revivals that happened in different moments of time, different revivalists, as we would call them, who were kind of um, at the forefront of some of these revivals. And when I would hear songs about revival or we would pray and ask God for revival or we talk about revival or we'd say we're going after revival, it always felt like really what we were saying was we're going after this moment in time or this, you know, something that happened in the past. We want this thing to happen again. And we're asking God to do that. You know, as a songwriter, you know, writing songs and, and, and singing, asking God, you know, send revival. We want revival, you know, whatever that, that is. And, and looks like, and I just, I realized I, I didn't, I didn't want just a moment in time it, it, in all honesty. I, I don't want just a, a blip on the, the big line of history. I, and I don't even really want something that was done before. If I'm really honest, I, I love that we can look back and see these incredible moments and moves of God that happened throughout our, our history in Christianity and how it, you know, propelled us closer to God, a greater revelation of God, um, souls coming to the Lord, you know, all of that. But I think that my heart is just number one, longing for something fresh and something new and um, something like I've never seen before, which I think is so incredibly possible because it's God. He's just an endless supply of newness and creativity. And then the other thing that I find my heart really longing for is something that that doesn't just fade away and become another moment in history. Something that lasts and just goes on and on and grows and and sustains. And so when we went out for these revival nights, this was the thing that I kept saying was that I, I long for something that is continuous and that has growth and movement inside of it. And really, I guess when we break that down, it's just life, life in God, life with God. And this is the kind of life that Jesus went to the cross for. The, the cross was not just for our moment of salvation to keep us out of hell, but the cross was for uh, making us whole and bringing us life and making a way for us to walk in the presence of God, live in the presence of God, dwell in the presence of God. The presence of God is not contained to a building called a church, that we actually get to experience that outside of a worship set, experience the presence of God outside of a church service, experience the presence of God in our daily life, in the mundane tasks, in our average being. This is what we can have. And so my prayer and my, my, I guess what I'm going after, I'm not just going after revival. That's a phrase that I'm, I don't even want to say anymore. I want to be specific about what I am asking the Lord for. I want to dwell in the presence of God and I, I want it to be in a way that I am just always aware of his presence there with me. I'm aware of him surrounding me. I want to, I want to be so close that I can hear the slightest whisper, that I can feel the slightest move of the wind of his presence. Uh, the song Let Revival In that's coming out tomorrow 
it, it says, shake off the dust. And this is my prayer for the church. <laughs> You're not done yet. Shake off the dust. God, bring life. Bring life that is exuberant and joyful and full of the fruits of the Spirit. That this is how we would be known. We would be known by His presence. That this is what separates us from all other people. This is what separates us, that we are carriers of His presence. We're walking in His presence. That we are walking in the, in the fruits of the Spirit that is evident in our life that we know God, that we walk with him, that we hear him, that we speak to him, that we love him, that we carry his presence with us. And so when I say revival, when you hear that word in my song, in, in my words, when you hear that, this is what I'm hoping and praying that you'll hear me saying that I want this abundance of life, this abundance of God's presence and I don't want it to end. I don't want just one moment in history. I want something that is going and growing and moving forward in Jesus' name.